goosebumps. That birth was so beautiful. And I think there's something so special about moms who their goal is really to just inspire their own family. And then they share this sentimental video and out of just inspiring their own family, they inspire the world. And I'm so grateful for all the moms on Legacy Birth. Shout outs to Christy May. She has an Instagram and a YouTube channel. Her Instagram is wildheart underscore mama. Her YouTube channel is the Ando family. I love that their baby was integrated in their birth and she wasn't like a nuisance at all. She fit in so perfectly. She was helping her mom by pouring water on her mom's back. So smart and intuitive. I loved that they had like the leaves around the bathtub. Great way to incorporate nature in their birth. This birth took place in Australia. So shout out to Australia all the individuals who are from australia if you're watching this video and you are in australia right now give this video a massive thumbs up our last video is in the philippines this video is in australia we have these beautiful natural birth movement happening all around the world but one of the tips that i have for you is when you are having a home birth you're going to want at least four towels nearby you can have more but at least four because you'll be very surprised how quickly your towels will be soiled or full of meconium or vernix or water my next tip for you is if you are having an unassisted birth and you are by yourself your partner is not in the water with you you want to be mindful of the hands and knees position your baby is more likely to go out the opposite direction. So two things that you can do is once your baby's head emerges into the water, you can gently bring your baby and pull your baby towards your tummy. Another thing that you can do is once your baby's head is emerged into the water, you can actually switch from the hands and knees and go into a kneeling position to deliver the rest of your baby. The kneeling position is the position that she gave birth in and this position is a great position for receiving your baby. You want to obviously get into a position that is the most comfortable for you. My last tip is once your baby's born, you want to stay extremely alert and you want to hold your baby with a nice grip. Once the baby's out, you don't want its mouth to go back in the water to avoid water getting into the lungs. So those are the tips that I have for you. Our comments are back our comments are back uh-huh our comments are back if you would like more tips you can obviously get our home birth course at legacybirth.com you can follow us on instagram at legacybirth or my personal at legacy along thank you guys so much for watching this video if you're new here click that red juicy button down below down below it says subscribe it says subscribe and i will see you in the next video.